Hey guys, Simply Pops here, back at it again with the joystick. You guys already know another gaming video. And yes, I know I've been slacking with the gaming videos. I promise I will do better. The last gaming video was the uh, Yannette Garcia and Faze Sensor thing. So now, today, in this gaming video, we have a lot of PlayStation news to talk about. So we have the PS4 update 5.56. So this update is going to feature playtime management. So if you're a parent, you can control your child's playtime. So if they're playing too much Fortnite, you can set like a time limit. And it's just like it's playtime management. Pretty self-explanatory. Now this next feature, you have uh, you can set wallpapers from a thumbstick. And of course, I'm talking about those little USB thumb drives. My professor called them the junk drives because they're so easy to lose. The process is easy. All you got to do is just create a folder called images, click and drag your images, and then you just follow the steps as follow. Um, you guys are going to see it. I'm going to do it on my own time, not right now though. So you guys get the idea. So that's PlayStation Update uh, 5.56. We should be getting a big update fairly soon on the PlayStation Update 6, and this is going to bring PSN name changes. Um, I, I know we've been asking for this since the PS3 days, and I don't know if Sony is actually going to do it or is just this is just something to get us hyped for this new update. I don't know yet, but I will be covering it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button with notifications on so you guys don't miss that update video. And let's move on to the next topic, which is the DualShock 4. So brand new colors. Finally, brand new colors. We have the Sunset Orange. So as you guys can see, it's an all orange controller with the blue buttons. And on the back of it is blue too, if you look at it closely. So a nice amount of details. If you're a fan of the Knicks, this is the controller to get. Um, then we have the Berry Blue. I got to say this one's a funky color, but it works out really well. Nice amount of contrast. And yeah, I mean, it kind of reminds me of like Splatoon, kind of like. Um, next up, we have Copper. So if you look at a penny, it's exactly like that. It's Copper, simple, elegant, sleek. And then next up, we have the Blue Camo. So, you know, Blue Camo, follow up to the Arctic Camo and the Normal Camo. But let me know down in the comments down below, which one is your favorite color? Me personally, I think my favorite one got to be the Sunset Orange, just representing New York, the New York Knicks, and just having that little bit of blue. The Berry Blue one looked kind of cool too. And yeah, the Copper one looked good. All of them look good to be honest and moving on we have the playstation plus games for september we have god of war 3 remastered destiny 2 and i don't know about you guys but i think the games for playstation plus are just getting better and better throughout the months i mean last month we had mafia 3 and i think the, the month before that we had heavy rain which is my favorite game i know a lot of people probably don't like heavy rain but as time go on, we get in a lot more stronger games. When I mean stronger games, I mean like AAA games and stuff like that. Compared to like the beginning, like 2013, 2014, we had a bunch of indie games. And that's to be expected because the PS4 just came out. Um, so yeah, as the PS4 is getting older and older, we're getting more AAA games. And it's so crazy because Destiny 2 just came out like maybe last year or yeah, last year. And it's crazy how it's free now. So I, I guess... Anytime when a game is free, I don't think the game really did that well or is, or selling poorly, I think. But hey, free is free as long as you have a PlayStation Plus account. And real quick, I'm about to get off topic. Uh, I think the real reason why Destiny 2 flopped, uh, just going back to Destiny 1, Destiny 1 came out September 2014. And that was that time when PS4, well, a lot of people was crying like, oh, there's no games, there's no games. There's games, but it was just a bunch of indie games. People was calling it the Indie Station 4 at the time but yeah people are watching their words now we have god of war we have a bunch of games now uh, but at that at that time we had call of duty ghosts battlefield 4 you know a bunch of remastered games and stuff like that but you know destiny 1 it was just it was a new game it was fun it was just a breath of fresh air in my opinion and destiny 1 is still good it's still fun but destiny 2 now you know you just have a bunch of games now to the point where it just gets outshadowed you get what I'm saying? You have Black Ops 3. You, you just have better games now than Destiny 2. Um, and no no flock to Destiny. Some of you guys love Destiny 2. Um, but that's I think that's just the real reason why it flopped. That's just my opinion. Just my speculation. But you guys might have your reasons. But that's just mine. And oh boy, I saved the best for last. Sony CEO said that you can't have crossplay because PlayStation is the best. Well, I gotta say this. You can't be the best if you can't do it. I mean, just be able to play with Xbox players and Nintendo Switch players around the world, it's amazing. Um, especially with Fortnite, everybody can play Fortnite on their mobile devices, PCs, Macs. You know, why Like, why not? 
And as a business perspective, Sony is thinking, well, if you want to play with our PlayStation gamers, you got to go out and buy a PlayStation 4. But Sony, you're missing the point. You got to be pro consumer. That's what customers like. That's how you make your customers stay. You know what I mean? You guys killed it in the beginning. Xbox One was doing some, some crazy shit with the DRM. You can't, you know, buy used games. But you guys came out with a 16 second trailer. This is how you... Uh, play used games on PlayStation and you know people love that people just wanted to be able to play games and it was just all about the games on PlayStation but this one here is not for the gamers this is anti-consumer we should be able to play the games together as gamers and you guys keep on forgetting about the PS3 when I mean you guys I mean Sony like the PS3 didn't do as well as they were hoping but it's just like, oh, we gotta try to boost our sales. We gotta add this feature. We gotta have crossplay. Even back in the days, they had crossplay. Um, but Microsoft was doing that crazy shit too, where you can't have no crossplay. Just because you have the crown, just because you're the best selling console and you know the most favored uh, console right now to date, doesn't mean you could just be anti consumer. Cause you know whatever, we we got the sales, whatever, whatever. But come on. The internet will never forget. The companies tried to hide it, like, oh, pretend that never happened. But come on, this is the internet. We will never forget. And that goes for people too in companies. But yeah, man, Sony, you gotta stop making these silly mistakes because it's gonna really cost you on the next generation of console. Right now, we kinda stuck. I already got a console, so it doesn't really make sense to get an Xbox One. But when it's time to pick up a brand new console, whether it's an Xbox or PlayStation, people won't forget about Sony's silly mistakes. Of not having cross play like oh oh yeah playstation doesn't have that so i'm gonna pick up an xbox one come on sony <laughs> you should know this by now and right now i'm really proud of microsoft right now they really did turn things around with the xbox they got ready to connect they added support for uh mw2 when i mean support compatibility so now you can play mw2 it, they really did turn things around i'm really proud of microsoft for that and Sony still has great games. I mean, you have The Last of Us, you have that Samurai game. I, I forgot the name of it now. And I like the fact how Street Fighter is only on PlayStation and PC. It's now on the Xbox One. And just so many games, man. Sony is still the king when it comes down to exclusives. So I respect them for that. But these little side annoyance and these silly mistakes that Sony is making with the PlayStation, it really does build up. It really does add up from not having cross play and not backwards compatible and not having this, not having that. It can, it can add up, man. It can really add up. So guys, I pretty much conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Comment down below what you guys think. And other than that, it's your boy Pops. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And I'm out.